<laughs> we all know him as the woolly-chested hunk from the sci-fi series Quantum Leap and, of course, the more recent Star Trek Enterprise. He's right now in our studio audience, so please welcome actor Scott Bakula. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind. Way too kind. You're still as handsome as ever. Now, Quantum Leap was one of my favourite shows, but Star Trek is what brings you to the country. Can you explain to our audience why you're here, Scott? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Melbourne for the day on Sunday. I think we're at a, um, a local spot there. I have it written down here if you don't have it. It's the Spot Basement Theatre at the University of Melbourne. Yep. And we're there, and I'm there along with William Shatner Woo! from 9 in the morning until 6 at night. And this is, Bill and I have never been together for one of these events before, so it's kind of a rare uh, opportunity to, to get to come and see us both. Before you were in uh, Star Trek, uh, were, were, you, were you actually a Trekkie? Oh yeah, I was a big fan. I, I, you know, I, I say this to to his face, but I was a huge fan of the original show with, with Bill and Leonard and all those yeah. those folks. And uh, I never dreamed that I would ever have a, sh a chance to be uh, actually on a starship myself. So uh, it's uh, I've done a lot of sci-fi in my life, and getting a chance to be in uh, on Enterprise, Star Trek Enterprise, was a, kind of a, a an amazing full circle event for me. Now, Scott, you realize because you've never been to one of these conventions before, people get go go. <laughs> yes, I've, I've heard from a lot of people that it can get a little bit uh, crazy, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, really. And uh, I haven't been, the last time I was in Australia was about mm, 15 years ago, and I had a great, I was working, but I had a really great experience, and I, I love Australia, and I've been dying to get to Melbourne for the, uh, the Open, the Australian Open, for years, and mm -hmm. so this is, um, this is my warm-up, so I'm going to be here for this, and then I'm going to come back for the Open sometime. Now, Scott, enough about Star Trek. Let's talk about music theatre, because apparently you yes. have been in music theatre for a long time as well, as, in, as indeed myself. Uh, so yes. what have you done, and what can we do together? <laughs> well, I've, I've never done anything involving a stripper, so I think that would be... Uh... Oh, no, that's just my side job! <laughs> Oh, when the, oh, it's just a side job. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, we, I think we could do anything together. What would you like to do? Oh, perhaps I, I hear that you did a performance of Anyone Can Whistle, which is one of my favourite Stephen Sondheim musicals. Maybe that one. I could play the lead of Remick role. That would be perfect. And, and I'll, do, I'll reprise it's a date. what I'll I did. I'll meet you on Broadway. <laughs> Fantastic. Scott, I can't believe you can actually sing as well. You seem so multi-talented. I want to ask you about the moment that you first stepped into the uniform as the the spaceship guy. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Archer. Captain Archer. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you have to kind of, you have to <laughs> subdue any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's Scott, Scott Bakula from Star Trek. I know, Star I know. Trek. <laughs> Stop it. Yes. Oh, well, it's, it's spaceship guy. I know. <laughs> obviously, it's one of your favourite shows. So. <laughs> The research here is very thorough, Scott. Very, very thorough. So, Scott, thingy me jig. Um, Scott, Scott, whoever you are. Um, stop it! Stop it! No, can we, can we because just... you have to bury your sense of irony and ridiculousness and deliver these lines with absolute sincerity, right, Scott? Mm. It's absolutely. I, I, I've never taken the uniform off, though, since I stepped into it. <laughs> Can we just talk briefly about your uh, appearance on the cover of Playgirl magazine in 1995? Oh. Can we just, not, not for me, obviously, but for the ladies on the couch, can we just have a quick look at that chest hair, please? Scott, please, can we just have a look? Come on, just quickly. No, can we no. Yes. my chest, oh, you mean my chest hair now? Yes. yes. That right there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's all we need. Oh, Life's that's changing. Good Thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> Um, Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner in Sydney and Melbourne this weekend for the Star Trek Conventions, Command and Conquer. Awesome. Now jump on our website, 10.com.au slash the circle for all details. Please put your hand together one more time for Scott Bakula. Yeah. Yeah. So handsome. So so handsome. That, would that would have, would have been one of the weirdest interviews he's ever done, perhaps? I think, I think he's a real good sport. Yeah, it's about to get a lot is. weirder at the Star Trek convention. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hello, everybody. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. Great. Fantastic. Wow, this is a great, great time for me to be in Australia. Second time. 
First time I was up uh, the Gold Coast, about 17 years ago, made a little movie with uh, Robert Loggia, a movie of the week called Mercy Mission. Yes, remember that? Yeah. The Rescue of Flight 771, I think, that was it. True story, uh, and I had a great time. I was, I've been telling people, just to show you how naive Americans are, if you need any more help with that. <laughs> but I was, I, everybody was saying, well, what are you gonna do on the weekend? I was here for about four weeks. I said, well, I, I'm gonna pop up to the Great Barrier Reef, and then I'm gonna head down to Sydney, and then, you know, and then I think next weekend I'm gonna just, you know, I, got, I got a rental car, I'm gonna drive out to Ayers Rock. And, <laughs> and if we have a long weekend, I'm gonna go over to Perth. And they were like, you're pretty stupid. <laughs> I said, well, what do you mean? They said, well, Australia is as big as the United States. And I said, no, it's not. It doesn't look that way on the map. They said, well, who do you think drew the map? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's so great to be back. For 17 years, I've been telling people the best thing about Australia were the people that lived here because I was just so taken by the warmth and the, and the genuine, friendly quality and, and just the the joy about living here and living in this beautiful country. And I, I've talked about it for years, and I, I'm sorry I haven't been back before then, but I'm reminded of it again now that I'm back. And uh, I, I thank you all for that. And my wife and my 11-year-old son are here with me this time, and they're having a great, great time. So thank you so much for having me. But I know you're not here to hear me talk, so. <laughs> So are we doing questions or uh, we will get right into those first off can we yes. get cameras away? Okay. Cameras away? Cameras away.